Sun Dragon in tea. First there was the Sun Dragon, and now there is the Moon Dragon Kuiya!
Hello everybody, and I hope you enjoyed the little replays. So, uh, yeah, this is my Imika deck, and uh, it's, uh, it's very evil. Uh, so, let's go through everything and how does it work. So we're playing Triple Astronaut Duskwa Dawnwalker, which is one of our uh, main non-tuners, uh, along with Super Duskwalker. What those cards do is you discard a card, special summon the walker and the corresponding tuna monster. For the Dawnwalker you summon the Fire and Ascator, and for the Duskwalker you summon Supei. This gives you instant level 8 or level 6 synchro depending on what monster you summon, giving you access to the pair of our boss monsters, Sun Dragon Inti and Moon Dragon Quilla. Additionally, for, for some draw power, we're playing the Spellbook Engine with a double Spellbook Engine of Prophecy, double Spellbook of Knowledge, and double Spellbook of Secrets. To provide some additional uh, non-tuners, since we're since the only tuners we have are Supei and Fire and Ascator, we're playing one Instant Fusion and Triple Ready Fusion to get all those uh, non-tuner monsters. Since not, it's not every day that uh, you can just get the Dawnwalker, and additionally the Dawnwalker can always be ashed, which can be a bit of an issue. We are also playing one Fury of Kairiushian, uh, because it can search one of our free copies of Torrential Tribute, which we are playing, additionally, with those two copies of Dark Hole. Uh, since uh, Sun Dragon NT can float into Moon Dragon Quilla and vice versa, any card that blows up everything on the field just does nothing to this deck, but can be very detrimental to the opponent. As for some hand traps, we're playing the standard package with Triple Ash Blossom and Triple Infinite Impermanence. However, this deck, uh, you could say that it shines in the uh, in the Floodgates department because it's playing Triple Skill Drain and Triple Tikkun Boo. Uh, we're playing Skill Drain because, well, the only on field effect that this uh, deck wants to resolve is Public Magician of Prophecy. So there's no reason not to play it. As for Tikkun it does somewhat. Uh, Contrast with uh, the Sun Dragon Inti and Moon Dragon Quilla play. However, if those two are on the field and you can and you activate Tikaboo, you just send Inti to the grave, and if Quilla is destroyed, you'll fetch Inti almost insta uh, instantly. Those monsters work uh, under Tikaboo, so that is not that detrimental to the play, but it does make you control only one of the dragons. Now we're also playing one for one to get easier access to Supei and Monster Reborn because it's fucking Monster Reborn and it's hilarious. When it comes to the extra deck we're playing double Cybersaurus for our red fusion and instant fusion plays. And triple dragons, uh, double colossal fighter, this is here because it's also a monster that can be synchro summoned with uh, Asketo Dawnwalker, uh, but not only that, when it's a battle and sent to the graveyard, it can special summon itself, so it does uh, the same thing as Sun Dragon Ninja and Moon Dragon Koa, but with one card. Uh, Omega is here because it's Omega. Starter Dragon is here because well, the same uh, the same process applies. It can be summoned, it can negate stuff, it works on the, sk on the skill drain. Uh, the Three of Arkham is the best level 6 uh, I was able to think of that we can summon with uh, Supei's. And next is Coral Dragon and Stunish Charge Warrior for some drop power, but they, those don't, uh, didn't, really, uh, didn't really come up too often during testing. So uh, that's really it for the deck, so let's look at some stats. <laughs> 